<laughs> Put your hands up. Name it. We up. It's quite difficult for me to explain when I was against the war because I was never for the war. And I was never really on the fence about the war. Um, basically, I just did my job when I was in Iraq. Oh, Action right! When I received my orders in early 2004, I just realized that you know I had to do my job or I, had, or I was gonna go to jail. And so I decided to do my job. But when I returned home, I spent about four or five months um, basically in seclusion. And I met guys from Iraq Veterans Against the War and it was my first time speaking about my experience as an infantryman in Iraq when I met them. And since then, I've been an active member. You know, when I was over there, um, it was a real space and nothing was mediated. And then when I, I came back here, everything was mediated and the war wasn't here. And there was no one to relate to and you try and talk to the people that are closest to you and everyone's forming an opinion about what the war is and what it means. And they have no understanding of what's actually going on. And that's what Iraq Veterans Against the War is trying to do today. One, two, three, go. Basically simulating roles and experiences that we encountered while we were in Iraq. So it's it's very intense for the soldiers. Uh, you know, very very uh, emotional. The, the roles that we decided not to not to be anymore. We we decided not to be those people. We're veterans now. We're civilians. We let the professional military do their job, and uh, you know we we act as a voice of them in the veteran community. You know the war is going on, but we all forget. You know Memorial Day has turned into a day of barbecues and going to the mall, and uh, we're trying to bring that back, especially in a time of war people should really be considering like how we use our military if we're using it responsibly and in a just way and in a way that represents our nation and right now I don't think that's that's happening we've got the majority of the country turned against this war and we don't have an elected government giving them representation so that's a serious problem with our democracy and you know we're trying to give Iraq democracy and the majority of them want us gone but we're still there so something's wrong with the system and uh, we're definitely out here trying to bring that home to the people in New York City